Hello. So today we will learn the first chapter. The first chapter of bio. The first chapter of bio. The first chapter of bio. Bio, which is, which is the fundamental unit of life. Okay. So this is the chapter checklist. Now we are doing the discovery of cell. Be- before that, we will do the uh, introduction of the uh, introduction intro of this chapter. So now. we we'll learn about the cells so what are cells that's that would be a question so now we we'll learn about it okay all living organisms all living organisms including plants animals are composed of cells of cells each each and every cell arises from pre existing cell these cells become specialized to perform different specialized functions after division cell cell is the basic basic fundamental structural and structural structural and functional unit of living organisms <coughs> in this chapter in this chapter we will study about the complex structure of cell various cell organelles and functioning inside the cell now we will see the discovery of cell so robert hook in 1665 so this will uh, be in your mcq for a uh, 9th standard mcq they, they will ask you uh, when did robert hook uh, discovered the cells so you will say 1665 okay in 1665 examined a thin slice of cork under a primitive microscope he observed that cork consists of small box like structure resembling honeycomb he called these boxes cells the substance called cork comes from the bark of the tree cell is a latin is a latin word for little room basic characteristics of cell are as follows now we'll see the basic characteristic cells so now first they have the ability to replicate the in, uh, independently they have the ap- ability to replicate independently second they contain hereditary information they contained some hereditary information right, like uh, as uh, you all contained your uh, mothers or fathers or grandpas and uh, grandmas hereditary uh, uh, you have some characteristics uh, by your birth or hereditary that information carry the, the uh, they carry uh, the cells carry the hereditary information they can perform they can perform all life sustaining activities on their own okay they can they always perform the uh, they can and always perform the the life sustaining the life sustaining activities on their own they do not need any sort of help uh, to sustain their own pow- uh, power and uh, their life so they perform all the all the activities on their own second now fourth Uh, they show similar chemical composition as metabolic and metabolic activities they show similar all the cells show so show almost similar similar chemical composition and metabolic activities chemical composition uh, you know you will study in your chemistry so now we will uh, learn about the cell discovery okay let's go robert hook in 1665 discovered the cells for the first time uh, in the uh, first time in cork slice with the help of primitive microscope then uh, leven hook leven hook in 1674 discovered free free living cells okay so this is this would be the question that uh, who discovered the first uh, living cells uh, there would be options like leven hook uh, robert hook and uh, many other but uh, you will uh, take the uh, leven hook as robert hook discovered a cork cell uh, cells in the cork but they were dead as you know cork is a dead the dead part of the plant so uh, the cells were also dead but the first living cells were found by uh, leven hook with his uh, improved microscope improved microscope in 1674 just remember this that uh, robert hook discovered dead cells and leven hook discovered living cells okay now we'll see robert brown now you have heard this uh, robert brown name in your chemistry first chapter so not this uh, is the same robert brown but in 18 and 
discovered the nucleus of the cell okay he was also a biologist i i also didn't knew <laughs> okay slide and chan okay in 1830 1838 and 1839 okay um matthias shilden matthias shilden and theodore schwann these were the scientists who presented the cell theory which states that all plants and animals are composed of cell cell and are and are the basic unit of life means they compose that all the plants and animals have uh, have the basic unit of life as cell okay so now now this puringi puringi in uh, 1839 coined the term protoplasm from the fluid substance of cell so you know the protoplasm it is a fluid substance inside the cell found inside the cell or uh, uh, now rudolf virchow rudolf virchow in 1855 said that expanded the cell theory he was also in the part of cell theory he was also in the part of cell theory suggesting that all cells arise from pre-existing cells as we learned here here all cells arrive pre-existing cells so this is what now we'll go to the next page and uh, now we'll see the cellular composition now this part has been ticked has been taken back we have done the cell discovery of cell so now we'll go with the cellular and composition cellular composition in different organisms okay so now we'll do this now see cellular composition in different organisms so on the basis of the number of cells present in different organisms they are classified into two types so in this video i'll just uh, uh, tell you about uh, about only this page uh, you have to learn all the things after uh, you'll read uh, and uh, please uh, i don't know uh, this is my first video no, no no this is not my first video actually this is my fifth video just please cooperate and uh, i don't know what to do so let us start so there are two types two types of organisms organisms first are unicellular organisms second are multicellular unicellular organisms and multicellular so unicellular means having a single cell means uh, example amoeba amoeba and uh, many other bacteria which have only one cell and these ones this one cell perform all the activities which are performed by us eating walking sleeping <coughs> uh, talking and all those things are only performed with this single cell okay and multicellular like us we have many cells right we have trillions billions of cells in our body so now we'll uh, uh, see this every multicellular organism starts as a life as a single cell yes as we know always always remember that every every single uh, organism starts the life with a single cell no one starts with the life of trillions and billions of cells only single cell but after that all the cells divide as this virtue said that expanding cell theory suggesting all the arise from pre-existing exactly they divide and uh, they divide and form many cells in our body we'll uh, see that the single cell which is we know that zygote which divides and forms many many cells all cells uh, thus come from pre-existing cell as the virtue said uh, rudolf virtue remember the name uh, remember the name rudolf virtue as we know the invention of magnifying lens made the discovery of cell uh, single celled microscopic organisms possible okay so because uh, so because of these uh, lenses magnifying lenses we discovered the single celled uh, uh, organisms and uh, did, uh, did m many research now we will see the different uh, difference between unicell unicellular and multicellular organisms yes so first we'll say well unicellular a single cell constitutes the whole organism so, okay as, as i told as i told you in those that organism only single cell perform all the activities that we do okay uh, now in multicellular multiple cells are grouped together in a single body and which assume different functions in body to perform various parts okay got it now there is no division division of labor there is no division of labor 
in prokaryotic unicellular organisms okay and uh, but it may be seen it may be seen within the cell of eukaryotic organisms okay so we'll see about the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells uh, i'll just i'll not tell you now but uh, yes uh, after that you'll study that in next video i think so okay let's go uh, all the cells are specialized to different uh, to perform different functions of multicellular body